So what's your name? Ashley Marie Blount. Ashley, how old are you? 34. Are you originally from Arizona? Phoenix, Arizona, yes. What's your current situation? Um, I'm homeless. Um, I'm not sure where my family is, my kids. Um, that's pretty much where I'm at right now, you know? I don't know where anybody is really, you know? And I uh, feel like people aren't telling me, you know, the truth about things. How long has it been since you lost contact with your family? Mm, last time I think I've talked to a family member, honestly, uh, damn, last time I talked to my three more, I would say like a year, like I talked to on the phone, you know? Yeah, long and time. And how long have you been homeless? Seven months now, like I've been on the street physically, you know what I mean? But other than that, I always had you know, stayed at someone's, someone's house, you know what I mean? Yeah. And what do you do out here to survive on the streets? Um, you know what, I've just been surviving every day, you know? Um, so I go without a lot, you know what I mean? But I don't um, I don't hurt nobody, you know what I mean? I don't uh, mess people's lives up and shit, you know what I mean? I just get by, you know? And you usually, sometimes I go without, you know what I mean? So. How do you usually get money to eat? Sometimes I steal from the stores, you know what I mean? Um, or uh, food boxes or shit like that. But your family's still out here in Phoenix, right? You don't know? Mm -mm. What do you have? Do you have mom, dad, siblings? My dad passed away. My mom passed away, allegedly. Um, uh, so my sisters, some sisters died. I don't know, but that's what I know of right now, as of right now. Do you have any kids? Yeah, five boys. Five boys. Mm -hmm. What are their ages? My son Nathaniel was born 6 11 98. Naden was born 4 15 2010. I mean, 2001. Um, Kobe's 8 18 07. Um, Anthony's 6 4 09. And my youngest, Victor, his name's Michael now, they changed it. Um, he's 4 15 2010. 10, so your, your youngest is like 13 years old mm -hmm. and who are they they're with? 10 months apart they were supposed to be with people who adopted them from the government I don't know the state the pond grants adopted them the okay. little ones um Victor and Anthony that they changed his name to Michael now so Michael and Anthony now yeah they, did you give them up for adoption or did you um, just lose them to CPS I lost them to CPS yeah my mother-in-law yep and the older ones went with my mother-in-law uh, Kobe Nadine and Nathaniel how was your life like before you ended up out here on the streets? Um, I was married and um, I, we had an, I had an abusive relationship, you know, marriage. It, we struggled with that, but we were a family, you know. Nevertheless, we, we still loved our kids, you know what I mean? But yeah, we were in a, a I was in a, a crazy relationship, my marriage, you know what I mean? So, yeah. Were you working? I worked, yeah. I worked at um, Walmart when I was married with him and he worked as well. Like, when we first met, we were working. I was yeah. working at Courtyard Towers and he was working at Action Sign. Then he went to court, um, Courtyard Towers where I was at as management. And then I lost my job, I got pregnant and then we moved out to Payson. And, but when I was out there, I got a job at Walmart. <clears throat> but yeah. Mm -hmm. And what happened to him? Um, what do you mean? Is well, he out here? Or no, he my, my he passed away too. Oh, he passed, he passed away, away in Las Vegas. He was he was killed. Yeah. And um oh, yeah. yeah. And um but in Payson he was working too at Del Taco and but my son got injured from a tankless water system from Japan. It was installed. And um I guess when they did their investigation it was they said it was spouting out like hundred and sixty Fahrenheit coming out the faucet. That's hot, you know what I mean? But um it was a, a tragic situation, you know what I mean? My son, you know, got in the sink it was hot water in it you know what I mean his his when we took off his onesie his body his, his from his feet down were degloved from the hot water he was wearing a onesie thank god one side was or he would have been way worse but that's how what happened he got tragic a accident and my Theo died right after that so it was like bam bam two things at once you know my son got injured then my Theo died on us and it was just all bad what son was that was that the youngest my youngest yeah is that the reason why CPS took them? Yeah, see, no, see, no, CPS got involved. It was, the, um, they didn't get taken because of that. It was afterwards. Okay. Yeah, the a domestic violence call. We got in a fight, me and my husband. I think I went to jail, and then after that, they took him. Because um, they said that he was, they were walking by the canal, which was not true. 
we didn't open the gate. You know what I mean? I don't believe that happened. There was no way that there could have been a gate open. You know what I mean? I think someone opened the gate and they just went in, or they had ties to, you know, there was some conflict of interest or whatever with ties with the um, CPS worker, obviously. You know what I mean? And don't know, but they, yeah, they took my kids for that. And I went to jail on a 500. I went to jail for the first time, never got over hard. I stayed in there 30 days. On the first time, never been in jail, nothing like that. And I got 30 days. They kept me in there, let my husband go out. And I got, I had to stay there 30 days for Christmas and New Year's, away well, from my kids for the first time, yeah. No, not DV, it was just a, um, a li what is it when you get um, like a seatbelt thing, um, life-threatening uh, danger, man, there you go. Yeah, 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 yep. Oh, that's crazy. Mm -hmm. Where do you usually sleep at night? Do you have a tent where you just uh, No, I sleep anywhere. everywhere, anywhere, yep. Yeah visit people whatever else crash out alley whatever it's everywhere <laughs> everywhere right here or what? Huh? no not dangerous i haven't here? been hurt no mm. do you get a bunch of creeps uh, approaching you and stuff like that no 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 oh, that's crazy mm -hmm. i usually get like the opposite yeah from girls out here they, they tell me that it's dangerous and a lot of people always approaching them like no. guys and stuff like that no i've never had that happen to me out here no are you currently looking into getting out of your situation um yeah yeah i do i've been thinking about it a lot recently and i mean what what i need to do you know this whole thing with me arresting me though it really set me back you know like upsets me because the 7-eleven person said he didn't even call the cops you know they just went on there and just took me in right away you know yeah. then they sent me to Peoria then they sent me to Phoenix City Jail. I was like they took me a couple hours just to get to the original jail I was like that's some fucked up shit but it's okay you know what I mean it's whatever have you looked into or have you went to Cass no I've never been there mm -mm. downtown I just heard about it yeah yeah I'd probably go to another resource or something they can give you somewhere to stay and then yeah I think they'll, they'll give you vouchers there yeah yeah, for housing. Yeah, I'll check it out. I so should. You'll go I thought on, about like, that. a waiting list or something like that. Mhm. Mm yeah, I, I thought about it. Yeah. Do you have a phone or anything out here? No, I can get one. I should get one of those too. I just I need to re get another one. I tried to get one, apply for one, and they told me my expiration date on my ID was they messed it up. Someone did something in my ID on, on DMV, and they were messing with my numbers on my expiration date because yeah. I always had an expiration date, and they messed with it or something because it said 2000 and like. 54 and it says something like way earlier than that. I was like, that's foul, dude. They're like fucking with my shit like that. I'm DMV. I'm like, and that's not God honest truth, dude. It's crazy. And it, it was a Salome address, my ex boyfriend's address, you know what I mean? So, yeah. but, and I know his dad's, um, I know his dad has ties. You know what I mean, he was the mayor, you know, I think he in California or whatever, or whatever, you know what I mean? Ties. So I'm like, so I know he can, they can mess with my shit. It's the only person I could think of that wouldn't mess with my expiration date, you know what I mean? Cause it says his address and his son let me you know do that so i know he's upset whatever whatever you know john let me do that for a reason you know because i'm not a piece of shit. <laughs> but it's all good you know what happened to you in your back a sunburn <laughs> can i see it uh -huh. that's really bad did you go uh, get it checked out no i just gotta probably wash it you know what i mean water and probably get better what happened did you fall like, asleep in the sun no i was walking around <laughs> Just walking mm -hmm, around? Mm -hmm. That's crazy, man. If one of your loved ones does get to see this interview, mm -hmm. do you have any words that you want to tell them? Um, uh, I don't know why I'm in this situation. Uh, I know that I have three sevens on my birth certificate, and I know this because my nana told me, and my nana told me that her sisters have the original documents in my freaking birth certificate also. But either Petra, Tonya, or Licha, one of them have them my documents in my birth certificate, my original birth certificate. I do want to let them know that I don't ever want them to come forward. If anything does happen, I don't want them to ever come try to, you know, put my thing in because I know that they have my birth certificate number. You know what I mean? I know they have them, and I know they altered them for some girl that's staying in med school right now. And for everyone who didn't have my back, that's sad to do that to our own, my own nana, my own mom, you know, wanna. That's, by denying that, that's like saying my non is the fake, you know what I mean? Sad, that's all I have to say. What if they're trying to reach out to you and they're trying to contact you? It's not hard to con contact me. Where can they find you? Right, I mean, 27th Ave and Glendale, it's not hard to find me. The You're cops have arrested me, they've, they've uh, contacted me several times, they've let me go, so I don't know how they could not find me, you know? That's all I gotta say, they got the resources and the means, you know what I mean? When I had a car and all that, I was always going, checking on people and going, showing up to places when I had my money and stuff, you know what I mean? 
Yeah. Uh, well, thank you for sharing your story. Mm -hmm. I really do appreciate it. Are you okay if I upload this on my YouTube channel and yep. my social media? Yep. And just in case one of my viewers or any of my subscribers wants to offer you any help mm -hmm. or donations, do you have any contact information like an email that you want to share? Um, later on I can. I, I need to make one so that I can be able to be contacted, yeah. Okay. Yep. All right then. Mm -hmm. well, thank you. Mm -hmm. I appreciate it. Yep, thank you.